Scientists get closer and closer every day to identifying biomarkers that are diagnostic of autism. Let me explain. Increasing research has come out that identifies the link between inflammation and autistic people. And they have found numerous cases in which when they look at an autistic person's body, they find different inflammatory markers. So a study was just published that basically looked at inflammatory markers in the plasma of autistic children and compared it to the plasma of allistic children. The study found that there were 18 different inflammatory proteins that were differentially expressed in the autistic group all of them being upregulated in autistic populations and not in the non-autistic populations. Upregulated means an increased rate of response. Out of the 18 biomarkers that were identified as being differential for autistic populations, eight of them were considered to have good diagnostic ability, meaning that they might be able to diagnose autism using these eight biomarkers for inflammatory proteins in their plasma. And three new inflammatory markers were found that haven't been identified in any previous studies. Identifying biomarkers can have revolutionary impacts on the way that autism is diagnosed um, because as of right now, it's just diagnosed based on the evaluator's own decision, right? And so you can go to one assessor and they can say you're not autistic and then go to a different one and they'll be like, oh yeah, you're definitely autistic um, because really they're just guessing. The second reason this is important is because it tells us so much more about autistic people and their immune system differences and will help us to be able to target specific interventions for that population that can help elevate their quality of life.